The 80 solution should be simple. First job, let's import what we need. We need request and we need to change our, no, we don't need to change anything. We need to just make sure that this has a page in it. So I'll use the three quotes trick to paste in my form from last time and just return the form, uh, the page even, sorry. If I run this now, I should just get the form there, which is the login page. And I've got some indentation issues there, but hopefully, here we go. The form's there with the username, the email, and the password. I now need to define a dictionary with a few of those in. So the first one is gonna be David. And a password of the classic Baldy1. Go and define two more. I'm just using silly short email addresses here because of the time involved in doing that. Uh, Katie can be b at b.com. The password can be kt. Not a great password, Katie. And my third password can be yule. C at c.com. His password is going to be etc. There's a reference for you if you've watched old musicals. So what I need now is to define the page that's going to. In my in my original form, I said I'd go to the login page. So let's define the route for that. So slash login. My methods are going to be host only. So first job, we need to decide whether that login is even in there. So I'm going to go for is there equals false. I'm going to try blank dictionary for that. I'm going to try and pull in the dictionary definition. If that key field is not there, it's going to fail. So that's why I'm doing that. Details equals logins. And from that, oh, I need to pull in my, um, I need to pull in my actual form first. Don't I form equals request.form. So now if I do form, from the form, I need username is there becomes true. So I can tell the user that that's it. Um, except return username, email or password incorrect. So basically, if I can't find their username, I'm going to tell them there's something wrong. And again, like we've done before with these login systems, I'm not going to give them specific details because this helps hackers get in if they're worrying about that. Okay, so if it is there, I need to double check what they've put. So I need to say, if form email equals equals details, and form password equals equals details password then return i can do this multiple returns give me different pages so i can return you are logged in my else i'm going to copy that return from here so let's try it see how we did Let's try it with me first of all. David A at A.com Baldy1. Good. Refresh. Just some nonsense. Good. That user wasn't in there. Let's try a user that's definitely there now. Get her email right. Get her password wrong. Great. We've got a working login system. This is working pretty well. Instead of just offering up the text, if we redirected them to a different page now, we'd have a fully functioning login system for our website.